I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. Here's the question. Is it enough to perfect your tonality by simply going out there and selling every day and being consciously aware of your tonality so you essentially perfect it by doing? Is that a good strategy for mastering the art of tonality? Is it enough? In other words, that you're actually practicing by doing. You know, I'm a very big believer in that, right? That I, I don't believe someone could just learn by practicing tonality in a, in a f office or like in a vacuum without actually it being applied in the real world. So I'm a big believer, obviously, in the real world doing and learning like that. So the question really is, though, if, if that's how you are, if that's your basic methodology, hey, I'm a f doer, I, I'm, you know, I take action, and you know, you're and you and you and you're consciously focusing on your tonality as you should until you become unconsciously confident, meaning you're doing it automatically, right? If that's who you are, is it enough? Or do you need to do more? Do you need to do something else? Can you master tonality by simply just going out there and working hard and being conscious of your tonality? And here's the answer, ready? The answer is mm, maybe if you're lucky, but it's not the way I recommend you going about doing this. There's a reason why Professional athletes don't just practice by playing matches. Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, um, you know, Tom Brady, quarterback, right? It doesn't matter who, what line of work you're in, whatever sport you play, it's not enough just to go out there and do it in real life. When we practice in a sort of a, in a formal setting, a practice setting, right? It allows us to work on certain core this little nuances and find the finer points you see here's what happens you might have mastered the art of each of the 10 tonalities but what you're not doing well is you're not able to apply them well on the fly meaning when it comes so yeah you're saying the words rightly but when it comes to a back and forth and a dialogue and asking questions it all starts to break down i see this happen all the time with salesmen especially when they're not unconsciously confident. Those in the beginning, when they're learning the straight line, they can do it really, really well in the classroom style setting. And they can do it really, really well when they're with someone that's really receptive and not trying to sort of sharpshoot them at all. When things break down for them is when they're with a prospect that starts interrupting them or cutting them off. And I, I see this on the platform. People saying, what do I do when people cut me off? They're asking me questions. How do I handle it? Through? And yes, when people do that, it throws you off. Let me assure you of one thing here. Ready for this? Yeah, I know you're gonna, you're gonna say, well, this is obvious. It doesn't throw me off when people try to do that. And bet you, if you ask 30% of the people that are on this program right now, they'll say, yeah, it did in the beginning, but not anymore. I can handle that like butter, no big deal. Cut through it like a knife, cut like a hot knife through butter, right? Here's what you need to be doing here. I want you to do what's called spaced repetition with tonality. The best way to master tonality is to, and if you don't have somebody in your company that you can do this with, just put up, make a post on the news feed, okay? And believe me, you'll have 20, everybody. This is the greatest group that's ever been assembled of salespeople. This is the most helpful, most positive group of salesmen. And soon we'll have a, we'll be a million strong on this platform. We will be, because I'm not stopping until we're over a million and I'll keep going from there as well until we get to 10 million salesmen. I want every salesman in the world to be able to benefit on this platform. And trust me, I'll have sold it, but wait, it's not even the money. It's the, it's the point is, is that this is a resource that will allow any salesperson to achieve massive success. And there's something special. It was the way it started. Something, it was some of the early people, like and I, you know, I mentioned his name, like a Ken Guerrero, who like from the very beginning was just out there helping people, commenting. I see this other girl, Allison Lombard, I think Allison is, and she's out there, you know, and, and she's constantly trying to help people. Sometimes her comments aren't always right, but that doesn't matter, by the way, because she never says anything so bad. If she said something bad, I would correct it, because I always see her comments. But she's another really helpful person. And there's also, also I think his name is Cunningham, or, or coming, I forget his name, this guy with, does in, um, digital marketing. Brilliant guy out there to help you guys like crazy, right? You don't find this. You don't find this in other places. This is a special platform. And I got was some luck involved that I got some great people on early that were helpful. And then we, when I saw that happening, I really encouraged that and cultivated it. And now look what it's become. 
My point is I want you to use the platform. That's the message for today with tonality. I want you, if you, you need to practice tonality, not just the 10 core tonalities. I want you to practice the practical application of them and find out which nuances you're struggling with and practice those. See, uh, the beauty of practice is that you can direct you see there's this practice that doesn't make any sense like if roger federer is hitting tennis balls three hours a day he's working on something one little it might be his footwork it might be how much weight he's loading on his front foot his weight shift he could be talking about his backspring of trying to get his backswing by three degrees in a certain direction like that sort of just layering a pattern even more precisely right and the truth is, I don't even know he's that, you're that great, by the way. I mean, you know, I can only imagine, but he's working on something. He's not just going out there hitting balls, okay? Now, yes, there's sometimes you hit to get into a rhythm of things, but you work on something specific. I want the key to success is getting honest with yourself, identifying what are your weaknesses, what are the things that you're struggling with, all right? Break up with, if you're not even sure, have a partner. Go get someone on the platform. Form a group, form a subgroup with two or three people, form your little mastermind groups. I'm gonna, all these resources are all coming on the platform every day to help you guys network, to help you grow your business, to help you perfect your scripts. I wanna give you every tool you need on this platform.